Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly... <laughs> I'm worried you're not right in the head. Guys, it happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline uh, is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Episode 3, Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. Remember, lads, if you're new and you're enjoying the stream, you can give us a follow. It's free. Which is the best price. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. My name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Hi, Rose. Randolph. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, you okay? she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out Why to be a famous Why is an upside-down boat? But I ran a bunch of searches, what? Couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about Ooh. that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a that, tornado to lift something like that. We're that's uh. Didn't crush any of the trailers. That's a good point, Wolf. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Barbara Jagger drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Okay, 10 out of 10 game, you can kick the debris. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles right. about You guys keep talking. I'm looking around. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What? Are oh, um Lester? Is that the one? But she's not homeless. Or He's super annoying like Lester Wolf, I'll be honest. He really is. <clears throat> I fucking hate it, Lester. Well, Mr. Remember, lads, we still need to go back to Red Dead 2. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Welcome to... to... Oh, dear. Mr. Wade, he just looks and sounds. I'm, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> it is Lester. Manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. If it looks like shit and yes. smells like shit, it's probably shit, Please right? Come in. Oh, okay. Please hey, this is come really in, good. Uncle Mo Lester. Rose. Oh, yes. My you're funny when you are. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. You're a funny when you are, Wolf. You. Oh, for Barry, she doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's? Oh. oh, drugged. What? Barry's gonna wake up with a sore bum. Oh. 
she's been possessed, she has, by the woman in black. That's what's going on here, Wolf. Don't you worry. It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I Never trust a slow waitress. You and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Oh my god. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. You are killed by a dude called Exploding Rock. Oh, mate. Dude, some online names. Ah. Uh, just insane. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. Wayne Johnson. The edits are getting very I mean, it could be him. Well, he's in everything these days, right? I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alex. Oh, mate, Lester. Day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? It's turning into coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. My gun and flashlight were gone. I nice. had to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. All right, okay then. So we're not going that way, are we? There's the car. Oh, no. Oh, you're going to get it now. Why? God knows what you've done. Him or Sean and Tate. Um... This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle all unload right in your goddamn face. Stay oh, my right God. Are, Fuck, he's aggressive. I can dodge bullets. What are I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. In time you won't have to. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Run Allen! That's like me, run 20 foot, dying. Especially at the minute since one of my lungs have stopped working, that's nice. Stop running. There he goes. Oh, there she goes. Go, Alan. Oh, he nearly fell. Oh, no, the darkness. Oh my god! I didn't do it! Don't arrest me! Oh 
Dude, this is so cool. Barry McCorkin, huh? Is that is he related to Phil McCracken? Oh my god, Wolf. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, in the car? This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Checkpoint reached. You'll have to see it. <laughs> Jack Mahoff. <laughs> ah! What was the one from The Simpsons? Seymour Butts? Where Bart found like most haven. <laughs> I'm getting inside first. I'm looking for weaponry. Or Thermos. I mean... Coffee gets us through the day, right? Well, there's the gas station. What am I looking at? Oh, there's a thermos here as well. Oh, I man. imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance. Oh, like dude, I that was like my favorite part of Simpsons like really FOMO. Perhaps you could give me directions. To the it didn't happen too often, but when it did, oh my god, it was great. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. I love a Thermos. There was no power to the searchlight. Okay then, so... How do we create power? Oh wait, should we go over here? Boom. Ooh. Poor Alan, man. The noise he makes when he falls off stuff. It weren't even that high. Oop, don't go down there. Any weaponry, though? Still no weaponry, boys. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. Flashbangs. For my situation. How about how about a a, a shotgun? Right, we've got six flashbangs. Okay, then. Fuck the shotgun. Give me all the flashbangs. Fuck you, deputy.
get to the light. Nice. More flashbangs. It's Mill Peabody, man. Nice. Oh, nice. He's coming about the bridge. Fuck you. Bang. Bitch goes down. Dude, this game's proper, proper freaky. Ah! Because you're done in an instant. It's okay. Well, many of us are, mate. Don't you? Don't you worry. Why are regular police? Officers carrying so many flashbangs, eh? Like, what the hell? Yeah. Oh, mate, I love it. Oh, look at that guy just chilling there. Eh. Kind of flashbang myself then as well. Nice, we're back into the light. Lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Demas. I'm just trying to open doors. Ah, open the door, Pop. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. I'm gonna see if I can. <clears> don't lock me out, Pop. Come on in. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to come on in, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Your what the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Run away. I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Oh. Okay, so how... Ah, right, okay. We can switch between flares and uh, flashbangs. Great success. Ah! I pressed the wrong button! Uh. 
Oh, I thought I had to hold it, but you can drop it and then shoot. Nice. Okay. sensible reason for the power company work lines to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Oh shit. Okay. We're doing alright, lads. We're doing okay. In light, you can hear them. Cheers, cheers for the hint, gang. Didn't know that. Oh, you can't you can't shoot the, the stacked cans, eh? Well, here's the train. Right, okay. Make sure we don't run on the tracks and get absolutely plastered. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. That's not Alice, terrifying. I'm, here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow. But she had called me. <laughs> she sounded wrong. I could She's see a, a wrong one. Bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Up we go, then, boys. Dude, this feels rickety as hell. You gain that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Oh, my God. Run away. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, Midori. You made me choke then, you bastard. <clears throat> As a teenager, just starting. You made me teenager, choke on my own spit. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought oh about my all God. the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly oh. not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. 
The darkness could be anything, and it was getting closer. Right. Oh, nice. Here we go. Can I blow up those gas canisters? Fuck you. Oh, I can get through. No, just shoot the torture them. What's that say? In the light, you can hate them. I, I wish it would stop putting that on the wall, because I stopped to read it, and it's like, I just read that. Nice. Right, I'm going to get the flare out, because we can drop that and, like, manoeuvre around it, right? I want to try and keep my, my flashbangs, just in case there's, there's a big bad. Oh, nice. Nice. Right, let's go and open up this, this cabinet over here. This little hatch thing. Dude, we took out a fucking a JCB or a steamroller with spikes. We haven't got any flashbangs left, though, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Open that. Use. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now.
today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw.